We continue the Kansas journey, chapter 6, beginning with page 133. Foreign Immigrants Come to Kansas In the 25 years following the Civil War, Kansas saw its population increase by more than a million people. Most new Kansans were Americans migrating from eastern states. But Kansas also attracted immigrants from overseas. German and English immigrants were the largest of the foreign-born population. Immigrants left their homelands because something pushed them away, while at the same time something was pulling them to Kansas. All immigrants experience this push-pull factor, but the reasons involved are as different as the individuals and groups who made their home in Kansas. The state, as well as the railroads, actively recruited immigrants to come here. The Kansas State Bureau of Immigration published pamphlets and other materials promoting settlement opportunities in the state. Although information was provided to all potential immigrants, the Bureau targeted those from England, Germany, and Scandinavia. Here we see an advertisement from the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad from November 5, 1884. The caption to the picture says, the railroad advertised special sleeping cars for people migrating west. This brochure includes the following description. These cars are built by the company and arranged with special reference to the comfort and convenience of families moving from east to the west, with which class of travel they have become especially popular. The general plan of the immigrant sleeping car is similar to that of the first class, first class sleeping car. This table on the bottom of page 133 shows foreign-born population in Kansas from 1860 to 1890. We see that Czechs, Slavic, Swedes, Welsh, and other countries sent immigrants. You can look at the chart to see how the number of immigrants grew with each decade. Page 134. German Settlers. Germans were the largest European group who settled in Kansas. Not all German immigrants came directly from Germany. They also came from Russia, Switzerland, Austria, and even other parts of the United States. Germans settled in all counties in Kansas, but their influence is particularly seen in the central portion of the state. The German language was so common in Kansas that the state has had more than 60 newspapers published in the language. Like the other immigrants, Germans had many reasons for settling in Kansas. Some families came for economic reasons. Others came for political or religious reasons. The earliest German immigrants to Kansas were from Hanover in northern Germany. They were tired of war and were not happy with the leader of their country. Many chose Kansas because it offered economic opportunities. Germans were particularly proud of their success in farming, but they also helped build the railroads and start new businesses. Many German immigrants wrote letters back to their families in Europe. They told about the opportunities in this new land. News from Kansas often inspired other people to immigrate. This is called chain, ch chain migration. Germans from Russia Catherine the Great was a German who married into the Russian royal family. Concerned with developing Russian's economy, she wanted to see the land along the Volga River cultivated. She encouraged German farmers to move to Russia by promising land, 
religion tolerance, and exemption from taxes and military service. By the time Kansas became a state, more than 250,000 Germans were living in more than 100 villages along the Volga River. Over time, they lost the special privileges granted to them by Catherine the Great. The Germans became subject to the military draft and lost their right to keep their German language schools. Out of frustration, many Germans in Russia began to look for a new home. At the same time, American railroad companies were encouraging settlement in Kansas. Mennonite, Lutheran, and Catholic German Russians immigrated to Kansas. They were attracted to Kansas for many of the same reasons their ancestors had been drawn to Russia. Land was available to be farmed, and there was freedom of religion. The Kansas Constitution exempted those with pacifistic beliefs from serving in the state militia. Many of the Germans from Russia especially the Mennonites, were pacifists. The plains of Russia are similar in geography to the Great Plains region of the United States. This gave Germans from Russia an advantage in farming. Their knowledge of farming methods helped make Kansas a productive wheat-growing state. This photograph shows a Mennonite family living in Marion County. Large numbers of Mennonites were recruited by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. In Kansas, Mennonites made their homes along the Santa Fe lines. We continue with page 135. The photograph shows German immigrants who formed the gymnastic team of the Topeka Turn Verein. In 1908, the team competed in Frankfurt, Germany with other Turn Verein teams from around the world. The Topeka Turn Verein. Germans brought many of their traditions. The establishment of Turn Verein clubs was one such tradition. Turnverein is a German word meaning gymnastic club. These clubs, which served as both social and athletic clubs, brought together Germans of all ages. The Topeka Turnverein was established in the early days of the town's development. The club established its residence at Turner Hall. The hall housed Topeka's best bowling alley and a well-equipped gymnasium. Books, in both English and German, filled a reading room. The club employed professional athletic coaches and musical directors. Its members participated in gymnastics and other athletic competitions. Club members also valued choral and instrumental music. The Topeka Turn Verein played an important role in the social and economic lives of its members. The club provided financial assistance to the sick and needy. It also provided money for funerals. The club supported the Topeka community, giving aid to outside charities such as the Topeka Orphans Home. The first Turner Hall in Topeka was on the second floor of a building in downtown Topeka. The hall housed the activities of the Topeka Turn Verein. Later, the club had its own building with Welcomen, meaning welcome in German, written over the door. <music> 